Okay, guys, we're going to keep on going on here, and we're going to actually show you now how to mix your paints. Okay, this thing is already primed. It's ready to go. Um, I have a clean airbrush now. I'm actually switching over, at least personally, to my Iwata, which is a little finer detail. Getting ready to start painting this guy. Now, when we talked about, again, concept of painting, what do I want to do with this guy? Personally, what I'm going to do with this guy is, again, top scales are going to be red. The bottom scales are going, not bottom, but the bottom port is going to be green where the scales are not. And I want a light belly, okay, because that's the way those are, a lighter belly, darker top. So basically I want to have kind of a mid-tone here of being green that fades up into black. And that same mid-tone of green fade into a lighter green as it goes towards the belly. All right, so I need to know which one to start with. Because I am have a middle point where I'm going from green to darker up and green to lighter bottom, I want the base color green to be the first one that I use. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to mix my paint. Okay. So here we have the paint that I'm going to mix. Again, when you, if you have these little things, they have a little tit on the bottom, you got to cut it off. And like I said before, you really need to uh, put a slit in it um, so the paint flows out. Kind of keep in mind... However much you put in there, you're only going to get about 75% out. Um, how much, how many drops of paint do I really need to paint this whole thing? If you're doing it with a brush, you'd only need eh, maybe two drops, something like that. If you're doing an airbrush, you're going to need more. So I'm going to put six drops, which probably equates to actually four coming out of the airbrush because the rest of it's going to stick in here or stick inside the cup. Start off with your reducer. Okay, put a drop to start off. Okay, and then put your paint in. And then put the reducer on top. So again, six, one, two, three, four, five-ish. You can see how thick this stuff is. And I use this for a purpose and a reason so I can show you. You can even use this type of stuff to uh, to do paint. Okay, you take your garbage brush, you want to start thinning this down, you're going to mix it up. And you can see that's thick, right? I mean, that stuff's like Play-Doh in there right now. All right, so come in and start coming in with about, you're going to have to get a feel for this. I still don't have it down 100%. I'm going to start off with about four drops of reducer. That's an awful lot, but this is awful thick, too. So you're going to mix it around. And what you're looking for, now that people say consistency of milk, okay? What I do is I draw it up here on the side the side of the cup and when it runs down and as it runs down it's no longer opaque which means I can see through it it's a little bit transparent then I know I'm there I'm gonna come in with two more drops of reducer that's about kind of what you need that's the thinness that you need to get this stuff and once you've actually kind of coated the sides it's going to be relatively hard for you to see exactly what you've done um, if you're looking for another way to do it, you want this stuff, as you kind of move it and shake it, to be uh, very, very thin so that it doesn't look like it has any kind of body to it at all. Uh, think of kind of like if you're making a stew or you've had a stew, how it has a little bit of that thickness kind of to it. Um, vice like water or soup, you want this to be like a soup consistency almost. Uh, consistency of milk was a lot of people say, but... Again, I don't have milk right here in front of me. Just kind of looking at it so there's no jiggling, there's no surface tension resistance, there's nothing that doesn't pull up anywhere, and it flows very, very easily, which this does. Okay? So we've got it that far. And i got to switch out airbrushes here real quick to, to make this happen. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll come back and get to the rest of it.